I've been dreaming about it. You sure? Okay. <laughs> You saw Miss Alice. Yes. You saw Miss Alice. When he was eating Miss Alice's crab. <laughs> I feel like these crabs will be better though. I'm not gonna... Welcome to Montego Bay, the tourist capital of Jamaica. I just arrived after a one hour flight from Miami and today I'm going on an epic food tour. We're gonna to be having jerk pork, jerk chicken, patties, and lots of delicious street food. So where are we right now? We're in the Charles Guard Market. The local come and you know, sell their products. So it's a farmer's market. Farmer's market, yeah. So this is a mix of bananas, uh, plantain, yeah. um, that's okra, oh, okra right here. Um, coconut, good for the rice and peas. Oh, it's a little one though. So this one you cut in half, and then it just like perfectly opened up and and, mm -hmm. and put it in the rice and peas. So we're gonna have some watermelon. So she has over here some sweet potato, we got peppers, tomatoes, and carrots. Oh, okay, you, you know, know everything. Them. Yeah, of course, of course I know them. I was just like in a trance right now. The eggplant's small, but it looks juicy. Aubergine, aubergine. No worries. Okay. Nice and juicy. You need it. It's all you guys. Sweet? Sweet. Yes, okay. Not too sweet though. It's not too sweet, but it's, it's okay. Mm. It's, it's better than water. No, it's, good. it's the best. <laughs> it's good. It's sweet, yeah, it's... yeah. Okay. So let me ask you, how's business here? I mean, um, right now it looks a little slow. It is, it is. But that's how it is. When it goes down to the holiday, it's getting nice. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But today's Monday. When is your, like, I guess the, the most people come okay. in what the days? The best day for me is Thursday. And Saturdays, but mostly Thursdays. So getting ready for the weekend? And what do you, so do you grow all this? Are you? No, I don't. Or, you don't? I'm from the town. You're the from the town? Countries, you know, they are the one that planted all of these. And how does that work? Do they come down and they, they sell it to down. you? And yeah. then you sell it to the public? Right. Got it, got it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's delicious water, man. Yeah, thank you. Can I ask you one other question? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, go ahead. Do you, do you, is most of your business from tourists or from locals? No, or? it's from locals. Tourists oddly, because you know tourists don't wanna they come to enjoy themselves that are really like watermelon here yeah, but like tomatoes but they Yeah, all the rest of it you have to cook. Yeah. And where are you from? Are you from local? Yeah. You were born here? Yeah, yeah, I was I was born here. In Mobe? Yeah. Nice. So tell me something in Patoa slang, some slang. What a one man. What a one man. Yeah. I love how she said Jamaica no problem, you like that, right? Mm -hmm. I, you know, you, you're here for the sunlight, right? And the beaches, right? So I think that's special. And we are very friendly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are. Definitely friendlier than Kingston. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just gotta... <laughs> yeah. Had to start a war. <laughs> I see you like here. You've been here before? I've been here, yeah, yeah. So this is my third time in Jamaica. I, I came here when I was 20 years old. I'm 38 now, so almost 20 years ago. So it's changed. It's changed, yeah. I, mean, I did what most tourists do, Americans do, they come to the hotel, they'll stay there the whole time. I did that last time. Because we were just getting drunk and like hanging out, you know? But that's what a lot of people are doing. They come and they never leave instead of oh, coming and supporting. Oh, see what it's like. Yeah. Yes, when you explore, you enjoy it a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so you much. Too. Let's just watermelon and come by yes. from here. Yes, right. <laughs> Love you guys. Thanks. Okay, bye. Thank you, thank you so too. much. Bye thank bye. you. Yeah, let's go. Let's keep going. Let's find some food. Find some food, it's hot. I didn't think it was gonna be like this, the heat. Oh yeah, it's hot. Today it got really hot. So here we have a lady that's selling pineapples, also star fruit. We have over here sugarcane and avocados. Tangerines. And tangerines. And what's your name? Miss Angie. Yes. That's sweet. Is this one okay? Yes. Yes, that's good. This is two pounds. Yeah, man, that's right. Do you know how to peel a pineapple? Yeah, not but... as well as you do. <laughs> <laughs> it's not we've, high. Seen, we've seen a lot of techniques. I, I've done it with uh, holding the pine without touching the spine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touching this. <laughs> holding the pine without touching the spine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. The other way. No? Wait, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. You have to core it. You have to core nice the eyes. Bit. Take out these eyes. If you're juicing, it's okay to leave them in, but if you're going to eat it. We take them out. And what do you think is Jamaican pineapple the best? The it's best pineapple? Because it's, it's the, better than training. Better than training. It's, it's, it's a sweet. It's a sunlight. Sunlight. Mm -hmm. It's ripening the sun. 
best in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. You have different ways to peel it. I can do it in many designs. Yeah, I like wow. this. Mm -hmm. You're amazing. Mm, that's Art. what they this say. Is artistic. <laughs> Miss Angie, right? They asked me how do I know. I said I just point my finger in the sky and say, God teach me how to do it. <laughs> so you've been here three years? Yeah. yeah. I'm the go to for sweet pineapple. The queen of pineapple? Yeah. Jamaica? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> to get these little eyes out. So you're enjoying the fruit so far? I just got here like two hours ago. Really? So all I've had is a juice. Where are you guys from? From Miami. Miami? Yeah, we're, we're one hour flight. Oh, yeah. Shortest trip of my life. Really? <laughs> you throw some spice in there? Or? No, oh, yes. you Salt have it pepper. just like this. Just like that, just mm -hmm. sweet enough? The sugar cane, you know, if I have lime, then you can try the sugar cane oh, yeah, with lime. some lime. Yeah. Sugar oh, cane and lime. We'll yeah. do that, we'll do that. Or if you don't have lime, you can do lemon. But lime is more. How much, how much uh, this is 500 J. Oh. 500 US dollars. Uh, uh, 500 <laughs> Jamaican dollars. <laughs> the people are friendly. We're very nice people, you know. Mm -hmm. And you should enjoy the beach. Yes, enjoy the beach and the food. The jerk chicken. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What's your favorite jerk chicken in Mobe? Uh, favorite place? Um, jerkies. Jerkies? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not, not pork pit? Not pork pit, no. I grew up in Mobe, had pork fish for a long time. We tried jerkies. Just enjoy, have fun, and go back and tell your friends. <laughs> and this is how we do it, bump it. Have a nice yeah, day. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, there it is, yeah. big up. Spice up, spice, spice up. Spice up yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. You here. too. Definitely have to go out there to Miss Angie. Miss Angie serves the sweetest pineapple in Mobe. It's gonna be good? It's pineapple. Mm, it's gonna be sweet. Looks juicy. Interrupted. No man, you hungry? No, no, I'm good. good? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You from here, Mobe? Yeah, yeah I'm from Montego Bay, Jamaica. Yeah. yeah. And, and what do you do here? What do you do for a living? I, I, I do selling on Fridays and Saturday. That's the most popular day to sell. Okay. A lot of people. A lot of people. A multitude of people. A lot of tourists. Yeah, tourists. Every, everyone. Cool. England, America, Canada. All over the world come here in Jamaica. This is Jamaica. And what do you sell? Fruits and vegetables as well? Or? No, I just sell skeleton and thyme. That's for the season, for the pot. Oh, you sell spices? Yeah. Oh, spices. amazing. Yeah. Do you have any here? No, not at this moment. No, no. I'm just passing through today. Got it, got it. Well, you okay. came perfect timing. Yeah, okay. okay. It's a friendly city. Jamaica and Montego Bay is a friendly city. You know, so everything is nice here. Okay. So have a good trip and a good time. Okay? Okay. Extremely juicy. Mmm. Super sweet. You guys are all amazing. Come, come. Come, Alice, boyfriend, where I sell. <laughs> Alice, <laughs> Alice, <laughs> why are you? Where's yeah. the bucket? Where's oh. the bucket? <laughs> it's gonna, there's gonna be a running theme on this yeah, trip. Yeah, Alice, boyfriend, we see you. Yeah, yeah, buy some. I like can buy crap from Alice. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I'll take a buy it. Take one. Where, where do we get that crab though in Montego Bay? That's the real question. <laughs> we don't know crab. We only have no, no mud crab. <laughs> they want the ready feed. It's it's so soft. Yeah, I'll take this one. Tap tap, nah nah. Papaya queen. Yeah, the Popeye Queen, Queen of Montego Bay. Yeah. 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 That's what she is. Well, what's your name? What's your name again? Pepper. Pepper? Pepper? No, 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 no. Yeah. Where is that mama? Mama. She makes some slits. Oh, perfect. Yeah, you can have. You want the seeds in it? No, take the seeds out. I mean, but the seeds are great to make pepper. You oh. grind it. And you make it like a like a. Oh, I didn't know it's a little spice. It's not pepper. Yeah, yeah, It's not yeah. pepper. It sounds delicious though. Yeah, I saw some chef do it one time. Why you had the Jamie so? Hey, feel ya, feel ya. How long have you been here selling papaya? Seven years. Yeah, eight years. Eight years. Wow. She didn't touch it at all. all right, let me try this. It's amazing. People are super friendly here. Everybody's coming by. Like, oh, I saw you in the news. I want to leave a video. Go, 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 go. go. Oh, it's super sweet. Oh, so super good. sweet. We give super sweet one. <laughs>
Man, you're making me laugh too much. She's negotiating. She's like, you're on camera. Oh yeah, it's like it's like spicy this one. First sweet papaya. Mm. Might be the best in the Caribbean. All right, we keep going. Big up, guys. Big up. Spice up. This one is a joke. That one's jelly. Good technique right there. All right, all right. Where's your, where's your it's so full. It's too much water. <laughs> perfect for this heat. It's perfect. No, I'm nothing right now. Without this, I'll die. Need water. Yeah, need water. Hmm? Also, it has electrolytes, you know? Best full of electrolytes. Best My man, I'm sorry, what's your name? O'Neal. Like Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, Shaquille O'Neal. So, are you from Mobe? Yeah, from Mobe, in the country here, I'm on the Cambridge side. I'm going to jelly feel, I'm going to jelly walk. And do you come out here every day with coconuts? Yeah, that's yeah. what I do for my living every day. So, you're the coconut king? Coconut every day. Coconut every day? Even yesterday. Even buy them a donut tomorrow morning, coconut the next day. That's so, how we're doing it, right? So, let me ask you tourism in the area, you guys get a lot of traffic because of tourism? Not really. Not really? Mm -hmm. So we need more of the tourists to come to this area? To this area, come buy us some jelly that go experience what is the jelly water. Can of people see them and know what is jelly water. You know? Jelly water is pure, natural. Ongo water grow up in the sky, you see? It? <laughs> yeah, man, ongo water go through your heart, you see me? I'll show you if you chop jelly, you hear? Spoon. Spoon out. Ooh. Is there any jelly in there? Yeah, man. There's some in there. There's some in there. Yeah, I like it. Mmm. Mmm. And it's sweet. Sweet, but still very, very soft. Wow. It's good stuff. Not that much, huh? Not on this side. Good on this side, really. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you. Enjoy yourself, brother. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Miami. And uh, we're here exploring a little bit of Mumbai. Uh -huh. um, so your name is Barry? Bar. Or yeah. Bar. Yeah. Bar. Sorry, Bar. Bar spice. Bar spice. And what do you have? A mix of spices. Yeah, with the natural herbs and spices. And all from your garden? Yeah. All from your garden. Well, well we, we have some from our garden. And what, everything will grow one place. So yeah. we source things from different places. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We do things like turmeric with an anato. With a cayenne pepper, with a dandelion, with a clove and wow. seed, all kind of natural stuff. What spiciest thing you got? All right, we have anato. That one? You know anato? Anato. It's like a... It's a food coloring. Oh, wow. But it's spicy. It, well, spicy, meaning mixed. peppery. No, it doesn't. Oh. It's all enough. This is what it is. That's what it is? Yeah, that's what it is. Never seen that. Been around for centuries. Anato? Yeah. Uh, maybe they have a different name. Well, um, I'm from a place called Maroon Town, Maroon which is like about 16 miles up in the hills. Okay. It's not really two worlds, you know. It's it's one world. It's just the tourists need to be a part of our world. That's really what it is. There are times when people take the tourists, keep them in, in a little bubble, so to speak. But I, I think tourists need to come out and experience Jamaica. A lot of people who come to Jamaica never experience Jamaica. I'm glad you guys are experiencing Jamaica because you guys come out to experience Jamaica. You're not stopped in the all-inclusive hotels. You come out and meet the Jamaican, the real Jamaican people. And without coming on the street, and without coming into the community, you won't, you'll never experience Jamaica. It's better than when I started it. And every day you meet new, new people, so it's like, it's a growing process. It's hard to introduce a new product. But once you get somebody to um, try your product, you get a customer. That's the important one. It's not easy to introduce a new product, you know, but people are stuck in their way and that's understandable. Yeah. But once you get the attention of somebody, you're good to go. Do you cook all this? Yeah, Who cooks that? Yeah, that's, uh, that's my wife cooking. That's your wife cooking? Yeah. Where is that food? At, uh, at home. <laughs> and all of these are prepared with natural spices and herbs that we do. The, main, the, the, the color that you're looking at is really a natural. That's what it is. So there's no need for like things like ketchup and browning, soya sauce and all of that. So that's what we do. And what are the costs for some of these bags? 
and the price is varies, like from two hundred. To the all-purpose. That's a combination of clove and sage, oh, coriander, wow. cumin, yes, onion, garlic. There's some the chicken. chicken. Wow, Rosemary, yeah. that'll be good. Yeah, yeah, it's the yeah. all-purpose seasoning. Yeah. And this is like 200 or what? No, this How much? 600? What do you want? Smaller packages? Hey, yeah, I was only confused with small packages. This, this, this is all-purpose. This, this is a blend, blend of herbs. This oregano, basil, rosemary, thyme, and my... Nice. No, no, no. You have turmeric if you, if you want turmeric. Oh, mm -hmm. we have a nappy. These are the spice that really covers your cooking. There's four? Yeah. Covers your cooking. Perfect. So I'll take four of these. Yeah. What, what's the price? Thousand fifty. Hundred percent natural. No 100%. salt, no MSG, no preservative. All natural product. And, and I'll share this with you. Once a product is dry, there's no need for preservative. It's the water that is um, in the product that spoils it. So if you have dry product, you're good to go. And these are all dry products. Sun dry product, all natural, no preservative, no salt, no MSG. Perfect. Hey, thank you so much. We cater for people. We eat to live, not only live to eat. There are people who do to live to eat, you know, and they eat anything. But when you eat to live, you focus more on what you eat. I like that. All right. It's true. Yeah, so we care for people who eat to live. This guy's amazing. <laughs> Come to him, buy some of the spices. There's a lot here. Yeah. Bar spice. What? Bar spice. Yeah. Thank you, Bar. Appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go find these patties. These are some of my favorite patties in Jamaica. Patties from Juicy. Oh. Are you good there? You good there? We good? <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up? You hey, know bro. it's good. Hopefully I see myself on your YouTube channel. You will, you will. Are well, Juicy's the best? The best, bro. Better Wait. than Alice here. Oh! oh! Let's see, let's see. Uh, hey! Painful memories. Painful memories. Hello. Hi, guys. All right, so what are we getting today? I think I'm going with beef or even shrimp. I need at least one. Let's see what they recommend. They have some of the best patties here. Look, they got beef, chicken, plant-based patty, vegetables, shrimp, cheese, callaloo, and mega. Wow. What's your favorite? Your favorite patty? Cheese patty? Do you have the chicken and cheese? You have the chicken and cheese? Yeah, I think the chicken and cheese is the best one. Are you ready? I've been ready for <laughs> what are you gonna get? What are you getting? Ooh, what am I gonna get? Probably just uh, cheese and beef. Is that is that here? Is that yeah, beef and cheese. Yeah. yeah. Serious Jamaican food. But I do a color code. Man, the, the combo looks good, but I don't want no soda. I'm gonna get a beef and cheese, chicken, and then uh, no chicken. No chicken. Cheese. Own cheese. Cheese and uh, uh, How's the shrimp? Finish. Finish. Another beef and cheese for me then. So it's two beef and cheese. Three. Three. Four. Three. 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 So good. How's business? Good? Very good. Yeah. How is business for you? Oh, it's doing you good. You got to pay me, you know. Of I'm course. A fan. Of course. I'm a good actress. Uh, tell me one thing of, of Montego Bay that outsiders should know. So the people are very loving here, and we love your service, and I hope you come back again, okay? Perfect. Look at this nice, juicy beef, melted cheese, crispy, flaky crust. Wow, this is going to be monstrous bite. The moose beef, the best. That's good, right? What did you get over there? Beef. Beef? No cheese? No. No. Okay. I love the beefy cheese though because it melts throughout, and it's like a buttery crust. This is incredible. Is this the best patties in town? Yeah, patties. What are the other competitors in the area? Tasty. Tasty's also here. I went to Tasty's in Kingston, so yeah, yeah, we did three, place. yeah, we did a third place too. Mothers, mothers, we did mothers as well. 
It was hard. I had like eight patties that day. It was like a long day. Mm, you like hot sauce? No hot sauce? No worries. I spice up my life. Oh, whoa, whoa. Mm. Oh. No, oh, my God. It's too hot. It's too hot. Oh, you got some bread. Cocoa bread. Is this cocoa bread? It looks like it. Oh, yeah? Oh, you're doing it. We did this last time. Wow. Do you want me to put it in? How hot is it? No, man, you're going to love it. How hot is it? No, this is not too hot. <laughs> Caribbean people are like, this is mild. I'm like, yeah, for Western palates, it's nice and spicy. You're having a monster spike. And this is called, um, what is it called, this mix? Well, this is called patty and cocoa. Yeah. Mm. What an amazing patty. You know, some people tell me that patties are like empanadas, but they're not. They're completely different. So it's like flaky, not doughy. Inside, it's just juicier. I don't know what it is. Yeah, well, I never tried empanada before. No? Yeah. I always heard of it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's basically a very similar thing. It's a meat pie. But most, most of, most of my, um, my clients, I use empanada to, dis to describe the Jamaican patty. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes when they, when they ask what is Jamaican patty, the first thing you can tell them is it's close to empanada. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the patty is its own thing. It's amazing. I, I mean, I love empanadas, but patty's got something fire, especially here. Juicy, extra juicy. So where do most of, your, most of the tourists that come here for your business, what, where are they from usually? The United States? Or yeah, most of them are from... The U.S.? US. If, if not from the U.S., where else are they, they come from? Um, Canada, um, Europe, England, yeah. But mostly the U.S. Yeah, U.S. is only a one-hour flight from Miami. This is great bread. Cocoa bread? So fluffy and with the spice. Do any islands, like neighbor islands, come here? Not at the north. Yeah. Yeah, not at the north. I'm for vacation. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, it makes no, sort of no sense. They're, they're already on vacation where they are. <laughs> yeah. It's island life. Beautiful combo, but it's so big. Do people usually come here, like, for a quick grab and go, or do they sit down? I mean, what's more of the... Yeah, so most of my tour, like, the highlight tour, stop here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially when I'm coming from the Mantu Bay Cushion Port. This is one of my first stop. I'll give them complimentary Jamaican patty and cocoa bread. As I mentioned earlier, this is the number one tourist destination of Jamaica. A big part of that is the cruise ships, very close to Miami. You know, it's part of most of the routes that go into the Caribbean. So yeah, lots of, uh, lots of tourists getting off and just buying stuff on the street. But we need more of them to go deeper in, you know? How far did you grow up in Montego Bay? No, I grew up in Westmoreland. So many persons never heard of Westmoreland, but I normally tell them that Negril is in Westmoreland. So most persons know or heard of Negril. No. So I'm from that part, but I lived here for the past 16 years. Well, Montego Bay have a lot of, I mean, opportunities, um, employment-wise, you know. So I'm from the countryside, so not much job opportunities are, are in the country. So hence, most of us comes to the city um, in search of employment. Negril, that is where Rick's Cafe is. That's a cliff diving cafe. People can drive there. Uh, I think it's three hour drive, something like this, to Negril? Hour and a half. Well, hour and a half. Oh, that's it. So you can go as a day trip. Yeah, hour and a half. Got it. That's not bad. We might go it. Maybe? Maybe we go, maybe we Okay, yeah. <laughs> So let me ask you, because now I have you here. Who has the best patties? Juicy's? Juicy! Oh. <laughs> Juicy! I have to say, what the best patties? You're too much, you're too much! <laughs> Both of them, I like juicy and tasty. Hey, my, my director, thank you so much. Where'd she go? Where'd she I'm go? the producer! <laughs> You're cast. You've been selected. She's been selected. You're been selected for the movie. Hello. Hey, hey Juicies, I'm bringing her to Miami. I'm taking her from you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much.
Okay. Out and the movie. She's too much. She's too much. She's the best. She really is amazing. Let's do it. Let's do it. Pork. Pork pit. I think maybe I need some jerk. Guys, have one patty. Two. Explode. Yeah, guys, one patty, that's the right amount. I had two, I'm, well, you'll look like this. <laughs> oh, no, dang. A, um, a third patty. Yeah. No. A third patty. No. It's a cocoa berry. It's cocoa oh, berry. my God, I can't, I can't. I'm, I'm done. I'm so we're going to pork pit, or where, where do you want to go next? Pork pit next. Is this all tourism traffic, or what? Uh, no, it's just uh, even rush traffic. Yeah, is it really bad here in Mobe? Uh, yeah, in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah it's really bad. But is that because it's like one main street? Most definitely. Um, uh, uh, I think they're, they're going to build um, a bypass somewhere to cut out all of these traffic. Yeah. Yeah, and it's crazy. It's more crazy on uh, cruise ship days. Cruise ship days? Yeah. yeah, so that's what I've noticed with a lot of these uh, cities that are right on the coast in the Caribbean is that they'll have like literally one highway. And that one highway is probably two lanes, never three or four. Two, yeah. It's Most two, yeah. Um, yeah. Is, um, Club at night, Friday night club. And they have restaurants, uh, restaurant in the day and, and club at night. So that's Pier One. What is that all about? Um, so Pier One is a restaurant um, and bar um, in the day and at night they have club mostly um, Friday nights. And you said the other great place for jerk is Scotchies? Is that what it's? Scotchies, yeah, and also peppers. Yeah, I'm gonna get pork. I think that's probably the best. We are back at the pork pit. I think I should get some pork. Pork is the original. From my understanding, pork was the, the founder of, of jerk. Wild boar, wild boar, yeah. So they got, they got pork by quarter pound, half pound, pound, wow, huge. And you got pork lean, got spare ribs, oh man, it looks good too, the sausage. What do you think, like a quarter pound of pork and a sausage? Why not? Why not, right? So I'm gonna go with some sausage as well. It's great. So it's like a diner atmosphere here. Outdoors though, you have this beautiful terrace, lots of different colors. Everybody's sitting outside getting that smoke in their face. Guess we'll go out there. Oh, that's just telling me. Pork is not ready. Chicken. Only chicken? Yeah. We'll go with chicken and a sausage. Pork. Quarter, right? Yeah, quarter chicken and a sausage. Quarter chicken. They also have juices. They have red stripe if you want red stripe. I'm good though. We'll go with that, that's fine. That's fine? Yeah, that's fine, thank you. Dude, David, check this tree out, bro. According to, according to a gentleman back here, it's 300 years old. It's insane. Can you imagine how many hurricanes that's been through? It's insane. So what is jerk? Well, the natives of the island of Jamaica used all the seasoning, all the spices of the island. What does that include? Cloves, cinnamon, what else we got? It's a scotch bonnet pepper, scallions, nutmeg, thyme, garlic, so many different things. And it started off with boar because boar was the wild animal in the area so they use pork but I got chicken because unfortunately it's not ready got chicken and I also have some sausage look at that nice juicy sausage so jerk started with the natives and then eventually the maroons the ex-slaves made it their cuisine right they evolved it and here we go some jerk got sausage gotta have my sauce on the side here we go some jerk chicken I'm seasoning Love the cinnamon here. Not too dry, juicy. Oh, nice bite. Mmm. So much flavor. But I really have to try this. This is what I came here for. Extremely juicy and smoky. With the sauce. I need that sweetness. You can see right here in the skin, you see all that jerk seasoning. Beautiful, I'll just have it like this. That's where everything is. Oh man. I had jerk in Boston, but I had jerk in Kingston. This is my third time in Jamaica having jerk, and I'll say it's amazing. And when you think about jerk, that's what Americans think is the, the food of Jamaica. But there's so much more than that. You got curries, you have ghost stews, you have oxtail, and patties, ackee and saltfish. I mean, there's a, there's a ackee and bake, right? I mean, there's a lot of different things. Uh, but this is really good. I try to limit myself because we still have some more to go. Let's continue. All right, that was awesome. Hey guys, what's up? Everybody knows my name now. It's more like they know me from the crab bucket. Bro, 
this margarita bill is huge, bro. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> yeah. huge. It's Just cut this at the end of it, you can tell me which one is the best, how the best jerk. So is it scotches or is it pork? Oh, you mean who's got best Kingston or Montego Bay? Ooh, let's see. <laughs> He's saying the scotches is really, really good. It's gonna be a little unfair because I'm going with pork and scotches. No, I, 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 personally, I like <laughs> pork pit. <laughs> yeah? Personally, but let's see. You, you'll be the judge. <laughs> scotches is older though, right? Scotches has been around for a longer period of time. Both of them, no, that, Scot pork pit have been one. Uh, you, you can go with that. But oh, also very old. Very old. Gotcha. Yeah, very old. Is packed. Yeah, and they got, they got the Scotch bonnet on it? I didn't know. Oh, Scotch is a Scotch bonnet. No, that's why it's called Scotchies. Ah. Did, you're saying there's going to be a lot of Scotch bonnet in that, in that pork? <laughs> yep. Snap. You want me to eat a Scotch bonnet? Oh, gosh. I mean. All right, just walking in and getting in line. Yep. All right, let's go. Scotchies. So, right here we have the jerk pork, jerk chicken. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, wow, look at that. Beautiful, massive pork. Wow. Huge. So what do you recommend? Just the pork or is there more? The sausage? Oh, chicken. Hello. Hello. How are you? What do you recommend? Pork, chicken, also what else? Fish? I mean, I, I didn't try the pork, uh, pork, uh, jerk pork yet, so I was thinking that. Quarter chicken and a quarter uh, jerk. Pork. Sorry, sorry, pork. <laughs> what am I thinking? <laughs> I like red jerk and I like thinking it. And a, and a quarter. Uh, let me get a dark. dark. Yeah, dark. Sorry, I can't even hear you with all that background. And a quarter of pork? Quarter of pork, yes. Perfect. Who's the way out? I got. You're good? No eh. Smoke, fry, but No, let me get a festival. Let me get one festival. One festival? Yeah, let me get one festival. Nothing to drink? No, just water, actually. You know what? I'll go with a red stripe. Sure. Yeah, you know, I didn't get a drink last time, and I should have drank with it. And uh, also water as well. Oh. Open it right here. Woo! Pops. Red Strike, the beer of Jamaica. David, pleasure. Yeah, I took it away, oh my god. No, oh, man, I'm good. Good, good. How are you? How's this place? Good? Food? Perfect. Best of Montego Bay? Got it. Nice to see you, man. Nice to see you too, bro. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks, bro. Are, are you from here, by the way? Are you from? Oh, okay, from Kingston. Got it. One love, all right? Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. I love that they have this like show in front of you. So as soon as you order, you come over here and you're chopping up some chicken, chopping up pork, and you can smell it coming off that grill. Red stripe, my man. Cheers. I, I actually just like it that it's down here, open. You can see everything happening over there. Is just a little higher, a little more closed off in a way. It's closed off, yeah. I mean, I think the distance is the thing, right? The distance. Yeah. Mm. He's throwing more amber in there. Hey, so much. Hi. People are something with us. I'll be back. We got it. Thank you, bro. All right, so I got, what do I got in here? Let me see. This is this. Jerk pork, that's jerk pork. Jerk pork. Yeah, you have to add a little bit of sauce to it. You got some sauce? Mmm, my sauce. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you have your sauce? But I want to try it. Is that one from Indonesia? No, from Suriname. Oh. You want to try? No, I'm scared of spice. I don't like spice. <laughs> <laughs> Not the spice. It's so funny. No. By the way, so it's, it's very juicy, but nice uh, layer of fat right here. Yeah. So you said to add spice. Or was better with David's menu? Yeah, it's good. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Yeah. I personally like the pork way more than chicken. We yeah. also got chicken here to try. Yeah, try the chicken too. You want to try chicken? Mm hmm. So you work here? Yeah, I do work here. My name is Gartina. How long have you been at Scotchies? I've been here for like a year and about three months. Yeah? Yeah. Well, we've been hearing this is the best place so far. Yeah. Here and Pork Pit are like the, yeah, you know, the, the competitors. Yeah, the number one jerk spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for jerk chicken and jerk pork. And when's the best time to come? Uh, this is the best time to come because it's not too busy. Okay. Yeah, so right here, showtime. Yeah, yeah. Right now it's like Linner. Yeah. Right? And in terms of tourism, a lot of people coming? Yeah, tourists? you yeah. see a lot of people here in December. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that's when it gets really busy. 
How's your day like? It's do, it's it's going wonderful so far. Thank you for yeah. asking. Good, good, fantastic. Yeah. I'm super happy we're alive. We're here. Yeah. Everything's good. Most definitely. And I got the chicken. Yeah. Go ahead. This, this looks amazing. But this one is, is without the ketchup. This is without ketchup. Yeah. So this is the real hot stuff. Yeah. Woo, woo, look at this. It looks hot. That's and just pure some scotch. Seeds under, yeah. Some seeds right there. Yeah. How hot is this? Spice. It's good. You have any hop? Scotch. It's scotchies. Yeah. You need some scotch bonnet. Yeah. Oh. It's good, huh? It's hot. All right. I'll leave you to finish your meal. So let me ask you. Yeah. You've been here a year and a half. Yeah. So how's life been like post COVID? Like especially for the area. We we had a lockdown, so no work. We work half day, but, but it's been good. But things are better now. Yeah, most yeah. definitely. I saw a fact. They're saying that more people are coming here than to Mexico now. Oh, really? Yeah, people yeah. are just skipping all this Mexico and they're coming more Jamaica. That's good. Yeah, somebody that's said really that. Good. Yeah, that, I think that's true because there, there's been a lot of cruise ships since lately. So and today, I think we have a ship on the dock today. And it's normally, it's, today is not normally like a ship day. So it's really good. Today's like a Monday. Yeah, today's a Monday. Ships comes on Tuesdays and Wednesday. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's been good. Good, good. Yeah, so Jamaicans are not naturally like people person, so don't be shy to come to Jamaica and come outside. They tell you not not to go outside in the hotels, but definitely come to Jamaica and come outside to experience some of the Jamaican culture. It's a wonderful place, wonderful people, good food, a lot of trees and good beaches. So it should be good. Most definitely. I'm sold. Yeah. Back to Jamaica. <laughs> Yeah, and definitely come to Scotchies. This is the place to come to get the jerk. Yeah, yeah most definitely. And Gotta Jamaica, stop by when you're here. And Jamaica for me is four trips. Four, got, yeah. You got Ocho Rios, you got yeah. Negro, Kingston. Yeah. And then you have also here. Yeah. But there's also deeper in uh, yeah, Portland, Portland area. Portland, yeah, most definitely. You see, you it's got lot, it. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of places. I'm from Miami, so it's... We have 14 parishes, so you definitely need to come to Jamaica. Not only Montego Bay, 14 different parishes. So it's just a lot to see. Yeah, it's really good. I love your country. Yeah, thank love you. Thank so it was you. nice meeting you guys. Nice to meet you too. All right, bye. Bye-bye. All right, so I'm going to try chicken now. Love the seasoning. When it's heat. Mm. Wow. Be careful with this. Scotch bonnet is like, they're, they're heat on everything. Everything has it. Go with the lighter one. This is the one with some sweetness to it. I think they put honey or something. Mm -hmm. Nice bone. But the winner here for me is the pork. Day one has been great. Friendly people, very different from Kingston. Both are different. You know, that's the capital. This is the, the hotspot, the tourist destination of Jamaica. But I'm loving the food, guys. What's making this place is the people. Best pork. And right here we have a pilori. Just kidding, it's a festival. Look at that beautiful fried dough. This one's a little sweet. You know what I call it a festival? It's a festival in your mouth. It's crumbly. Just like a, like a bake. That's some sweetness. Just kidding, it's spicy. It's too much of Scott Bonnet. So I highly recommend trying one of these when you come to Jamaica. It's one of their staples. This, always with some chicken. good food you guys told me to go look for some crabs yep yep and we're heading there no right now some mud crabs mud crab. <laughs> they're very muddy so where we enter now what's the parish called Shalarni parish that's the parish that you see in both is from so that's where we're heading so we're gonna take a detour and this area is, is called um, Greenwood so we're gonna take a detour through Greenwood and this is the parish that Hussein bolts from um, the neighboring parish that we're going to cross over shortly. So because there's a checkpoint down there that causes traffic, so we're going to take a detour in here. Hey, Dave, you heard, you heard though why uh, there's no speed limit there, right? There's not? Yeah, it's Usain Bolt's home, man. He's oh. got a... <laughs> Fastest man on earth. That's right. Dude. He's running 80 miles per hour. They, they haven't broken his records, right? His records are still like standing. It's crazy. Oh, you, just, you just did it. Yeah, it's like a couple years ago. I mean, it's been a while. No, it's been, it's been like a five or ten oh, years yeah. already. But, yeah. those, but it was the record he broke was like a big one. It was. Uh, he was so much past. Goats. I gotta get these goats, bro. Some goats? Goats? Goats, man. Go create a wallet. 
David, pleasure. Nice to meet you. Same here. What's your name? Bridget. Bridget. Yes. Fantastic. So what do you have here? Land crabs? Yes, land crabs. Yeah, spicy? Yes. Spicy. Got some scotch bonnet in there? Yes. Ooh, they're big. I've been dreaming about it. You sure? Okay. <laughs> big guy? Oh my gosh. So how do I eat this? You saw Miss Alice. Yes. You saw Miss Alice. When he was eating Miss Alice crab. I feel like these crabs will be better though. I'm not gonna... I mean, they look good though. They are, they are. Let's grab one of these. It's hot. Pull this guy up. So I gotta grab it like this. So hot. Oh yeah. The best though. The best. A little spicy. Grab this. That. Oh, oh, that juice. No, I gotta get this and pour it out. Mm hmm. Break it. You gotta break this. Yep. Hold on. From 2017. 2017? Yes. Actually, this is these crabs. So you have a little guy that he used to sell out here. He still sell, but you know, I chip in for him now and then. Ooh. There we go. And you use this. Go on, meat. Oh. So much meat spicy. So somebody else is here? Yes, my stepson and his father, but his, my, his father gone, went to gone to see and he's out there, you know, they're young, so you know, trying to hold them down, you have to load them, have them look a child. Yeah. Yeah, right, because he was out here in the morning and then I take over from, from in, in sometime around two o'clock. And so these crabs, what's the story behind them? I mean, do you go out, out there every day? I mean, whoever well, gets as them? as long as we have crab, we're normally out Sunday to Sundays. Yeah. Yes, okay. so we, we do this right round. As long as we can get the crab, we out at all time. And how many crabs do you usually get? I mean, is it a hard job? It is because we buy them from Westmoreland. So sometimes, based on the, the wideness of the crab now, because mm -hmm. normally we buy like 50 dozen, 40 dozen. Yes, so it depends on how we can get them. Right. You understand? Because it's a business, you know, so you're at all times stocked up for your business. Of course, of course. Right. It, it has its ups and downs, right? Because there are times when it flow and there are times when shaky. Yeah. You know, but in spite of all that, we give God thanks. Yes. You oh. know, we try not to complain because why we are here now is because of the customers. Because our customers, if we take one day from the road, your phone go blaze up, right? So we do this because it's something that we love to do, cook, and as well, we appreciate our customers over the years. So we try our best to meet our target where our customers are concerned. We are customer friendly and over for sure, and we love to serve our customers. Well, these are very delicious. Thanks. I thank you so much. I've been, I've been going ham as she talks, just pulling them out. This is the secret. You go like that, and then, mmm, mmm, spicy. Love it. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's a lot of meat. They're very tasty. And they were telling me that they're not that big in this area compared to Kingston. These are huge. No, man. This is a small crab. Yes, yeah, small? Yes, this is very small. Oh my god, right here? Look yes. at this. I'm like pulling it, I'm draining it out. Look, look. It just strips? Yes. Oh my god, spice. Spice. You guys love your spice. I appreciate it so much. We try our best. Mmm. And how long do you cook this for? Oh, all right. Normally we cook it like for 45 minutes about 35 to 45 minutes mm -hmm. and then we remove it because we do not cook in this pot you know because we cook it on the wood fire so when we cook it on the wood fire we transfer it transport it to another this pot and that's where we take it to here that's where the house is that's where we cook it literally they cook it right here that house right there and do i break this guy open i mean what's what's the trick because I, I know i go through the claws and then i go through the legs yes. but do i go in here yes oh through the butt 
Oh. What am I gonna get there? Here you go. So I eat this? Yes. Stick my teeth in here? Mm -hmm. You guys have no idea the juiciness of this crab. I have an idea. That's why we allow our crab to remain with that flavor. So it's a love. Mm -hmm. Right. What an amazing day. Crab's got me here. Alice. Alice. <laughs> Alright, my last name is Shirley, right? And I was told that there was, um, I think, four brothers came from Africa to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Right, so one dispatch in Westmoreland, one in Montego Bay, one in Portland, and I think the other one in Kingston, somewhere there. Some people think that, that Jamaica is just more African. Yes. I've met a lot of like uh, Hindustanis, so like Indian. Yes. Uh, I've met some Chinese as well, Jamaican Chinese. So there is a fusion of cultures here. Yes. Mm. I think there is also a tang, you know, a native. Native, there yeah, are native, native. native people still around here. It's small, but and, and is a German town, German but town. we have no contact up there. We're gonna wash it and wash there. my hand there. Yes. And you're also selling stuff. That those are shells. Yes. All right, let me go over there. Wow, these are beautiful. So many. That's yes. conch shells. Yes, these are conch shells. And they're pink. Yes. It's gorgeous. Look at this. Beautiful. Right here we got conch, lots of conch. This one's gorgeous. So if you want some conch shells, right here. Nice. We are located in Salt Marsh, that's a little bit out of Falmouth, and on your left hand side going to Montego Bay. So we call right here Pan Side. The best crabs. That was fantastic. I destroyed that. Thank you so much. You're welcome and thank you. That's it. Oh, this is good. <gasps> Look at this. Bro, they have like a Sick. what is it, Santa? One minute drive from the crab lady, we have this craft vendor selling. Look, I've never seen this. This is Jamaican Rasta Santa. It's amazing. I'm thinking of buying some for the store. Where, where is that, his name's Ron, right? Ron, Ron, is he? He's back there. Hey, Ron, how you doing? Man, look at this. He's just carving everything. It's mad wood carving different things like dogs. We have more dogs. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Are you from this area? Yeah, I'm from this here is Salt Marsh. You know, it's like Falmouth is our city there. And I grew up around here. I was born in Anova, but my mom is from here. So I grew up around here. And how long have you been making crafts? Well, I've been doing this for like 16, 17 years now. I've been doing it from I was like 14, 15. And I'm about 35 now, so. Well, I learned most of it from my dad over there, but he's not here right now. So he's, back in the day we were small, he's the great man. So we come up, we learn it, you know? And we're very good at it just as well. You can see for yourself. Normally it all depends on what you wanna make. You look at a piece of log or you can get an order too. So it depends. But I wanna make an ed, I'm gonna look at a piece of log and then that's where it all started, you know. I'm in with my machete, then I'm in with my pencil and stuff, then I'm in with my gouges. And by the end of the day, t tomorrow, you will see I shape it out and everything. Then I have to go and get it cleaned up and everything. All right, if I use my gouges and my machete, well, one of those small pieces, I would have to work like about 30, 28 to 30 hours to get one completed because, you know, it's all inch yeah, by inch. Well. The bigger piece, you know, it's more time. The bigger you go, it's more time. Uh, well, normally we see mostly tourists, but you have local people that come and do their things same way. These are amazing, by the way. I've never seen this. Like a Rasta uh, Santa? Is that what it is? No, that's just a black Santa. That one up there is a Rasta Santa. That's the Rasta Santa. Yeah. So how much for the Rasta Santa? Well, that's like two hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred fifty USD. Yeah. Wow. Or that one. And then these are just black Santas. Yeah. Driftwood. That one right. There. And these are connected? No, they're not connected. No. Those are like si seventy-five. Yeah. Seventy-five dollars. Like okay. Normally, I don't really have to look at a picture because you know, I'm the type of person that made anything. Yeah. Even if you come with something that I never made before, I'm just gonna tell you, hey man, that's easy. That's... Then I'll go about it. But 
I never had to look at a photo because you know you go everywhere in Christmas time you see Santa King. You see it on the TV and the internet everywhere. Yeah, it's already so in your head. You, it's already, it's already in your head. Whatever and this you piece want. Takes 30 hours, something like that to make. Right. To be honest, this piece here take me actually 40 hours because I do like eight hours each day. Normally do like five days to get one complete. I don't do the whole day. I just do like eight hours. Got my Rasta Santa, and that was our ultimate street food tour, Montego Bay in Jamaica. See you tomorrow.